Happy Tuesday, my friends. Welcome to Ackworth, Woodstock, Georgia. Where are we, we're, actually? You know, we're, we're in the administration building at the campus of the worldwide headquarters of the Hope Quest Ministry Group. The heartbeat right from here. And we love you. That heart beats for you. And that's why we do this Daily Dose of Hope every day. Hopefully bringing a little bit of light into your world and uh, giving you hope every day. Yep. All right? Well, here we're talking this week about why God leaves us with memories. Uh, he doesn't remember. God wipes it. I guess that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but he leaves it with, with us for a reason. Well, we want to talk about the good side of remembering. In fact, in Exodus chapter 13, verse 3, Moses said to the people, This is a day to remember forever. The day you left Egypt, the place of your slavery. What a picture that is for us. Today the Lord has brought you out by the power of his mighty hand. It's powerful to remember that yes, Exodus, isn't yes, it? It is, it is. You know, what God is reminding us of there is, again, we touched base on this yesterday, but God wants us to remember where he brought us from. God wants us to remember where he found us. God found them in Israel, so to speak, because they had rebelled and they had sinned and they had failed and they had ended up there in slavery. And God was bringing them out to a place that he had promised to Abraham long, long ago. God wants us to remember where he found us so that we can, we can recount how he's been with us since. Now, we hear preachers tell us all the time, if God says something twice in the Bible, it's important. If he says it three times, man, how many times did God tell us to remember the Exodus in the Bible? Over 87 times, specifically in Scripture, over 87 verses. That blows my mind. That says, remember that I brought you out of Egypt. I have set you free. Remember that. Wow. Was Hope Quest part of your... Um, being freed from slavery? Uh, would you remember the day you asked Jesus into your heart and you got saved? I don't think you need to remember the date and the hour. You just got to remember when it happened. We're, we're, we're being called to remember those things. I mean, imagine it's key. remembering your altar on this campus. There's, yeah. This campus is littered with altars that men have placed there, some small, some simple, others not. But those are points of remembrance to remember where God found you, and how far God's brought you. Don't forget that. Maybe that's a good challenge for today. Write it down a couple times. Remember those moments in your life when you know God reached his hand out of heaven and, uh, and rescued you. Write it down. Meditate on it. Think about it. Be grateful for it. And uh, it'll do you a world of wonders of good. Did that, a world of wonders of good. You know, whatever that is, it will do them good. Yeah. Thanks for listening today to our rants and raves. We love you. We do this for a reason. We do this because we really truly care. If you need us, never hesitate to call or reach out. We'll be there for you. Talk to you tomorrow. More about what the Bible says about your memory and why you still got it.